All right. Uh, let's get going. Let's see how this goes. Hello, YouTube. I've been having a lot of fun editing videos and uploading stuff ever since Helldivers 2, doing TikTok and all that, and I'm really enjoying it. And making content and not focusing on like the networking and stuff. I've, I've still been streaming on Twitch and I'll probably dual stream. Uh, just I'm going to test this out for today. See how it goes. See how the see if there's any glitches or anything. Go from there. And then maybe dual stream. But I, I might have to get a second computer to do the dual stream thing. But yeah. All right. Um, we'll just hold tab back in. I'm not accidentally attacking anybody. So what were we on? Um, okay. Only a particular gift will loosen Lemon's perched tongue. I need Newt's liquor. But I was talking to somebody, and they told me that I need... I do need that, but they were telling me... Hold on, move my mic down just a little bit. They were telling me that I need multiple of it. So, let's see. Name. You can always do that as well. Short side of the ambition. In a few days. I know I've rested a little bit since then, so. Let's go check him out. This might quick. contain useful information. Oh, Should I need to. I think I need to swap back to. Look Mystic Spear here. As, as you please. I long for the times when I was always on my feet. Okay, yeah, because we just bought that stuff. Always so. a pleasure. Not buying. No, That's not. That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. The original gonna... is ever prudent in the application of coin. I don't really know how to use Mystic Spear Hand that well. I do know how to Welcome use it a little better as a now. Discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate. Like using Redoubt while you're charging up stuff and things like that. Um I also want to try out I want to try out this on a Cyclops so I can upload a video for that. I need to try out Cinder Spine. as well but i'll do that later or tomorrow i would like to get some mystic spear hand stuff we offer excellent service always a pleasure uh unlocked first so let me change my equipment real fast oh uh i'll actually stash this stuff first And I get to be naked for a little bit, which is always fun. Welcome. As a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate. I'm pretty sure I can't wear I can't wear that mask anyway, but it's whatever. I also need to decide what I want to upgrade. Um, let's see, what is it called is balanced? Vernworth. Batal is more physical. We offer excellent service. Do come again. So I guess I just need to figure out if I want to do magic or more physical. I'm scared. Or just find out what's better for Mystic Spear Hand, because I don't really know. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient. What do you chase? Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Are these guys still angry? Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Yeah, they are. Maybe I just beat the guards up. Oh shit! This isn't gonna do anything. So I didn't do this earlier. My. My shot left them harm me. Wife of a pawn decided to aggro shoot people. 
I actually need to check to see if she's, uh, I need to check her eyes out. I don't know if it's actually what happens. I think it was just a glitch because I happened to like take my weapon out and then I sheathed it and then she started shooting. And I think it just caused them to all be aggroed. Are we ignoring the enemy today? Yeah, Let we us are. Defer to the Arisen's judgment. Well, we're ignoring them for you now. Have my support. I just, I just want to change my vocation. Is that a pawn? Oh, that's a guard? Okay, anyway. Well, I mean, shouldn't have fuck around, dude. I didn't even do anything to that guy, to be honest. Oops. All right, so oh yeah, I can unlock new stuff. I need to try out. Uh, thief's haunt, theft's hand taps the target's vitality and grants it to the user in the form of stamina. Interesting. Mirror vesture erects a magical barrier around the user and lies in range. Each barrier only lasts for a very short span of time, but nullifies all mana attacks for the duration. I heard this one is really fucking good. Definitely going to be using that. Uh, Sky Dragon's Fangtooth. Dart swiftly into the air before plunging down at high speed. Oh, let me do this too. This is my old ass, cheap ass camera. <laughs> Definitely need to get a get a new one at some point. Hello. I need some caffeine. That's my first caffeine today. My first bit of caffeine. Dart swiftly in the air before plunging down at high speed and inflicts greater harm when evading a target's attack. That's kind of cool. Kind of like a little counter. Okay, and then this is an advanced form that allows further travel and more forceful. And inflicts magic damage as well. Right. So it didn't do magic damage. Now it does do magic damage. Love that. That's got to be more like magic based, right? I don't think that's my jam. Not right now, at least. Because I've played Warrior for so long, I think I think just strength is going to be more it. Extend the range of Redoubt, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Increases gold obtained when acquiring coin pouches. I wish I got this like way sooner because I think that's really good. Um, Ace in movement speed while carrying or lifting. I mean, is there like a lift build? If you could pick up dragons and shit, sure. I think that'd be great. I don't know if that's for me. Whirling arrow fires a powerful spinning arrow that delivers a barrage of hits. Effective at overwhelming smaller targets. Can also be employed while moving. That's pretty cool. That'd be cool for like an actual player. Causes your lantern to consume less oil and illuminate a wider area. I mean, you might as well buy it. Not. I don't think it's something I want to equip though. Yeah, I've maxed out Thief and Warrior so far. So I guess I really should just start playing like every class. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with Warrior though, but I definitely want to test out weapons that are like weapons that are like specifically made for certain creatures. I want to try those out. I think that'd be fun. Um 
Real quick, I need to let people know I'm live on YouTube. All right. My wife said she loves me bunches. That's nice. Did you get some pasta? I got four boxes of shell. Shell noodles. Keep AF. How much did our total grocery order come out to? $20 less. We got some stuff refunded. It was twenty dollars less than we thought it was gonna be. That's always nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I'm having a I'm having a shit ton of fun streaming on not streaming on YouTube. Uploading stuff to YouTube, making thumbnails and stuff. It's getting easier. I'm doing it faster. It was so daunting getting into it at first, but I'm really upset that I waited all this time, but you know, sometimes you gotta work a bunch of jobs and go through life before you find Pleasure stuff you like, you know? Like what I do for work right now, I like. What a marvelous vocation. Our master oh, thank you. I mean, I don't like love it, but I found it. It's good. It works for me right now. And it gives me time. It allows me time to like stream and stuff. Our reach. So. All right. So we have our longer re uh, for foreboding bolt, right? Now, if I hit a target and then I hit spacebar, that's supposed to do something too. Fuck, does it do again? Um, quick thought. Instantly approach a target. Right. So I can like instantly approach after doing timed. Skatering bolts and then humble offerage right after. So it's shot, right click. Wait, can I do right click and space? And then F. F. That'll take some time Master, to get used to. They also don't seem to like. It's like they've, they they sense that I killed all those guards, even though they didn't. Obviously, they did not see it. I didn't. I didn't want to kill all those guards. I didn't want to, but I did. <sighs> all right, so Newt's liquor, we need, which I make with wine and something else. Let me move this over here. Gig's Tavern Stand sells them. Where's Higgs Tavern stuff? One here, right? Yeah, and I have to have a Beastron mask, right? So it's got to be here. Yeah. 
Pig's Tavern Stand, so I need a Beastron Mask. Then I can buy them. But I can also craft them. I've, and I've already given the guy two, but I think I have to give him three at the same time. So this guy will sell them for 2,000. Erland. Um, the Magic Lab one I already found. I already found another one in Gout, Gout Stuffers. Whatever, however you say his name. So I need a Beastron Mask. He'll sell them to me for 5k each. I can buy one from somebody for 2k. That's to unlock Warfarer. I don't know that I need to do that right now. Well, let's just do some let's just do some action and shit. Let's just follow the quest for now. We'll do that later. Is that you, Gemmo? Oh, let me get my baby Gemmo in there too. Then I'll scoot over a little bit. My monitor is like right over here anyway, so it works out. You and baby. Not you. All right. So back to back to Vernworth, I guess. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Yeah, I don't even remember what these abilities. Spy, Sky, Sky Dragon's Fang Tooth, I think, is the dodge. Dragon's Foin is the dash. Humble Offering is the AoE grab. Mirror of Vesture, I don't remember. There is much we ought to tend to regarding the matter of the Godsway. I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where well, you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali Palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint. But alas, tis intended for a beastron. Oh, what are these ogres called? The, the bigger ones? I need to get the name of that so I can change this. To say, I do not know. To look <laughs> upon your majesty's ingenuity. Your majesty. Advise you to make for Batal. Well, I mean, I've pretty much already done everything in Batal. 
So what's funny is this is going to be way faster because I have my teleports and stuff. Because I already did all that. And I think some of the bosses are going to be a little easy. My bad. I spent a long time in Batal and running to the volcanic mine area. And when I got to Batal and I saw the shop, I was like, oh, this gear is cool. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm over leveled for this. Uh, or not over leveled, but I'm under leveled for this shit. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. And I pushed and I. I persevered and I explored and I had a lot of fun, but <sighs> you know, end of the day, it is what it is. So, uh, Ernie to Batal. All right, so we're going right back where we were. And I have plenty of fairy stones. I just have some in uh, storage that I need to grab too. We should probably mix up our pawns, huh? Do we? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer. What level are these guys? 43. Selena's okay. I think Benisher's fine. He's fine for this. We don't need to train, change him out. Uh, what we do need to do is look at the pawn medals. Ogre. They gotta be called Ogre Obliterators, right? Because that's the only one I've found. I, wish they, I do wish they had a little bit more... A little more monsters, but I know that they are... You know, I'm sure that they're saving some of those for DLC, but... There's so many different, like, fantasy monsters and stuff out there, especially if you, especially if you pull from, like, D&D &D and stuff. I don't think they need to... I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. Back to the fucking game. <sighs> That's a pretty good deal, right? Gold Trove Beetle. If you find a Gold Trove Beetle, you get a Panacea. You the Arisen. I don't take the Panacea. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Wait, Sven? Really? Well met. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Oh, should we grab? Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Did I actually grab Trickster to get the augment? When do you unlock that augment? Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to scare you. Have you business with the guild, sir? It is... Wait, do I just have to buy it and I get it? Or do I need to level up like one time? Uh, Trickster wields... Trickster's wield peculiar smoke dispensing implements known as sensors to conjure an array of illusions. I know I have that on my paladin in D&D. &D. Excuse me. Few means of harming their enemies directly. Tricksters excel in the art of deceit and possess magics fit to befuddle foes and trick them into delivering their. True attention is to draw attention. True purpose is to draw attention to the builder. Beguile your foes and you shall soon have them dancing on your hand. Is this like a. more like a. I don't know how to explain it, but like. Your pawns do all the damage, and you just don't have to worry about the game being too hard. You can do a simulacrum. That's pretty cool. Those are in D&D. See, that's what I'm saying. There's like all this stuff like from D&D &D and other fantasy that they can pull from 
especially monsters. Like, there's so many different monsters they can put in the game. <laughs> After conjuring a simple icon, hold down, right click, and press V to cast Enthralling Aroma. Possess an enemy. Augments their prowess in battle, boosting their strength and magic. Ability to draw the attention of their magic increases the health of their conjured simulacrum. Interesting. Okay, so I don't have it yet, right? Detection is what I want. Gives you nearby wake stones as well. Double items when you create stuff is that's pretty nice too. Double chance and raise your affinity more. That's max trickster. Oh man. And ranks of swinging your smoke around. Player repairs damage incurred by a simulacrum. I mean, I guess I'll just like, I'll have it on for a little bit. Augment physical defense, increase likelihood of being targeted since I guess that's the point of the class. Uh, I guess decrease stamina. And opulence. I mean, I think I'm going to be running detection and opulence for quite a while once I get those two. Just so I can, like. Do come again. I'm going to keep my gear on me, though. I have other stuff I can wear. I see as you've well. chosen to become a trickster, Arisen. I look forward to seeing how this will affect our prospects in battle. I need to talk to her because she was shooting somebody, but I think it was just a glitch. Because you can count on me item. to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use Cure. Yeah, she definitely does not have a dragon's plague. Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous times we live in. Who knows, though? Who knows? All right, I got this badass sensor. What else can I wear? Yeah, that's way better, but it's just going to look kind of silly. I mean, stats are stats, man. You know? Stats are stats. All right, cape I think is fine. I think I can pretty much wear this cape with like anything. All right, let me... You know where to find. Change my gear real quick. Hot. Hell yeah, dude. Do take care on the road, sir. Hell it's a dangerous yeah. time. We live in. You know where wait, to wait, find wait. me. Look. Hold up. Where'd I get this extra port crystal from?
I did buy one. I paid the three dollars and bought one because I was like, "Fuck this! It's my actual time that I'm wasting by running from here to here every single time." Is this a quest item? It's gotta be a quest item. I didn't buy anything else and definitely would not buy anything else, but a poor crystal is absolutely a fucking huge help and saves me actual time in my life. Have a look. Many thanks. Fuck Capcom for taking advantage of that, by the way. Bullshit. There's a ladder here. Yeah, we ought to put it to good use. You know. When you're in your thirties. Early thirties. Thirty two. All right, we're gonna go talk to Vin. We got our sexy shoes on. We are ready. I think I only need one vocation rank with this class. So what do I do? Oh, I just call him to me. As a matter of fact, yeah, interesting. I shall never forget the agony I felt at the coronation. We must needs uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pawns. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. I do not get it. Manager. I wonder what classes they're going to have in the DLC, because there's no way that they had Trickster and they were like, yeah, that sounds like a fun one. Maybe it is fun. Maybe it does have some cool stuff that it can do. It just seems like a... Uh, it, se it seems like a class that if you were to have a DLC, you don't want to put it in the DLC. You know what I mean? People are going to be like, ooh, I can, I, can get, I can get the DLC and not attack things. That sounds fun. I heard from you know Captain I mean? Brant that you plan to make for Batal. But I don't know. I haven't used class yet. We'll see. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discovered. It seems to be addressed to someone. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. May and if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if I am in no position to make demands. It's nice. This is a nice kid. Nice kid for such a shit parent. Uh, a scrap letter penned by Queen Regent Disa expressing her gratitude for the gifts of the gods away. Name phases jumped off the page. Investigate the letter. Okay. Um. Use the entry permit you received from Captain Brandt to pass the This is this is how I was supposed to get to Batal. Oops. <laughs> That's alright. We have plenty of ports, we'll be able to like kind of breeze this. But um I 
I do want to actually go to the gate and follow the quest how you're supposed to do it. Because I think I might miss stuff if I don't. I don't want to fight anything in Batal, so I will say that. So I think I might actually, I might actually just walk on foot instead of using the cart. That way I can fight some like minor stuff along the way. Because I need to get to. I guess I could fast travel to Har Village, and then walk there. Checkpoint Rest Town. Fast travel to Harv, checkpoint, and then checkpoint rest town. I think that sounds good, right? And then I'm just gonna fight stuff along the way. By the time I get to checkpoint rest town, I, sh I should have a vocation level so I can change back to. What's our first order of business arisen? the other class that I actually want to play. Well, I want to play Warrior, but I'm going to play Mystic Spear Hand to get it maxed out won't you? and to unlock some stuff. Excuse me. Resistance stuff. Is oh, I need a... I need that ring, but I'm not buying it now. 20k. I spent all my stuff on, like, here for different classes. I spent like everything on like all this warrior gear. And then I swapped to Mystic Spear Hand. <laughs> so. Do I, do I just. No, I have my lantern. Ah, okay. oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. While in another world. I happened upon a treasure chest rather Dude. close by here. Uh, perhaps I could show you the way. There's no way they just dropped a drake in front of me when I'm a level 1 trickster with no fucking... Like, I'm not going to be able to kill it. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need any, arises. Any other class I've been playing, I would fight it right now. But that's not happening. Alright, so how do I Stop it? Well done. Stop I said! Effigial incense? I want to buy a blade. That's like some physical, but it's also because it's probably because my strength is so fucking high. Yeah, okay. I just need I just need to get this done. Jesus. That was a lot of damage. Considering that I was just smacking him. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective villains. No sense letting the enemy gain. Dude, I love I love seeing people respond on YouTube too. It's just so it's so nice. Like Twitch is cool, but it's like it's only whenever you're there. YouTube, you can like, you know, it's the gift that just keeps going. I still have people that like comment on YouTube from, like years ago. So. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Arisen. Rest assured, master. I just like this game has so much fucking potential for like. DLCs and patches and stuff. I am, like, I'm sad it's not live service, but just because I want to see this, like, go very far. But Monster Hunter is coming out, and that's supposed to be really good. And I think before that comes out... Actually, when does the new Monster Hunter come out? Let me look that up real quick. Release date... Uh, Monster Hunter release date 2020. There's one that's coming out this year. Remastered version of the first Monster Hunter RPG. I 
SG fourteen. I thought there's like a different one coming out. Monster Hunter Wilds. No, not stories. So I might have to play Monster Hunter World, I think, before this comes out. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. Not live action. Is Monster Hunter Wilds li live service? See, I like how. Dragon's Dogma 2 microtransactions are actually better than what's seen in World and Rise, so I'd gladly accept the Dragon's Dogma 2 store. Yeah, Capcom is just, they don't do anything out of the norm when it comes to microtransaction stuff, they just do it a lot. It's more egregious. But live service is, I've really fallen in love with it, so... Oh no, do I not have... Wow, you, uh, you have really good news, what is that? You're not a bot or a spammer, right? I have not set up my chat yet, so I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, perhaps this will seem Please don't be a bot. But different masters I wanna say hello. Different horns. One whom I serve preferred to have beastruns for allies. Each to their own. He likes beast what? Fight him, guys! Come on. We would. F I would actually probably. I would try and fight him, even if I had my mystic, my magic spearman, or mystic spearman stuff. Magic archer, and mystic. Spearman. You'll not live to regret this. Oh, we got a cyclops! Nice. I'm doing a lot of damage. Wait, hold up. I know, get off. Hey, yo. I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage with this class, even though I don't have, like, anything. guys okay tell me I got a vocational ring you know I've only fought I've only done like two fights but I would, I would like to be done with this I'm sure it gets pretty fun earlier or fun later but I need to like I would like to do that. yeah all right so I'm assuming to think I'd be caught unawares. I am shame. Or do you get augments like at third rank for like your first augment for every class? Wolves, Ice is not a threat to it. We may just beat its ass with Oh shit. No. Oh, okay. Stick with magic archer. 
Um, well, I mean, I have to, I have to level Spearman anyway. Get all the variety and stuff, you know? Especially for Warfarer. I think Warfarer is going to be the in-game build that I want to use. Just to, like, experiment and try out stuff. The sky is radiant. But Magic Archer's bomb. I feel that's what I used in the... That's what I used in the last game, too. To me. It's good. There, I, I've, heard it's re I've heard it's really good in this, too. All the classes actually feel pretty good, whereas in Dragon's Dogma 1, some were just not that good. And while I don't like uh, builds getting bricked, is this dragon coming to town? Hey, bro. You can change your vocation on the spot. Yeah, basically. Just whatever weapons you have, you have those core skills. Which seems really cool to me. So I'm gonna play Mystic I'm gonna play Spearman today. And level it up and do the main quest stuff. And then I'm gonna I'll probably pick up Warfare later today. Because I've maxed out Thief and I've maxed out Warrior. And I'm working on Spear Spearman. Did that Drake leave? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Well met, sir. Sorry, bro. Almost just, got, room, sir? almost just got you and your whole town killed. Glad to be of service, sir. Oh, I don't think I can do vocations here at all. But we'll take that gold, though. And that extra gold perk is not super great right now, but I can definitely see it, see it paying off later. Um, yeah, I just need to, I just need to do what I was going to do and run. Alright, that's fine. I guess we're just playing Trickster until we get there. So, we'll just be leveling some Trickster. That is totally fine. But, that just means I should absolutely have the Detection Augment by then. And then I'll have some extra stuff, so that's cool. I wonder if I wonder if Trickster would actually be good to like mix in. Oh. Like with another class. Like, does your simulacrum stay? That's gonna be really fun to to to, to mess around with. I will I watched a video last night. I didn't watch the whole thing. But somebody was just they were talking about warfare and all the different stuff you can do. And they were like, yeah, this feels like the end game build. Like, there's so much stuff you can experiment with, whereas in Dragon's Dogma 1, it was like experimenting with different gear and item combinations and stuff, and, you know, building a class throughout the game, which is really cool because it makes you feel good and it's worth it by the end of it. But again, you can just get brick, you could get bricked out. Whereas in this, it's like you can switch to whatever you want, especially at higher levels. It doesn't matter what you leveled up as. You know, it'll all even out. Like way later on. Also, sorry if I burp a lot. I'm having a I'm having a procedure done on April fourth because I'm having some like caution is called for when crossing any bridge, regardless of its main. Ulcer, no digestive stuff going on. So in the middle of a bridge. Oh, just it sucks right now dealing with it, but it'll be okay. It'll buff out. Spearman isn't interesting to me at all. I only play the magic vocations. You're the arisen after all. I'm not a brute. I mean, that's opposite of what I I, I have literally have played warrior the whole time. But it's it's been fun as hell. But it's like I saw how much better it was because in the first game I did not like warrior. Ah, at all. you again. What would I have a task for you? There are urgent matters that require my attention, but to reach them I shall have to brave the roads for quite a distance. As such, I seek an escort to safeguard me to my destination. Oh. Listen here, you've my gratitude, sir. Where do you want to go? Hey, that's that's where I'm headed, bro. You're headed right where I'm headed. That's perfect. Um, 
I think the Archmage has a skill that lets you regain stamina faster. Yeah. Uh, the With the Spearman? That was one of the things I was looking at with the Spearman, which would be great with... Uh, be great with... Warrior, because you use up so much stamina. Especially if you're running Arc of Might. It's actually kind of nice. Like, you just kind of let the smoke just be there. And it hurts them. Definitely more magic based damage, which is not what my build has been so far, but. I mean, actually, I haven't really looked at my stats. Let me look at my stats at level 46, so almost 50. I know I put that in the title, but I thought I'd get there faster. I think I will if I just stop, you know, talking and messing around, but. My magic's 405. Oh, it's because I have the gear I have on. My base magic is 135, and my base strength is 209. So yeah, it's really not that far off. And it's also because of the class I have. 135, 209. Let me, let me actually screen cap this. And then when I swap... I'll swap vocations to warrior. And what my base stats are. I just want to see where I am. For what I've leveled so far. Because yeah, I know when you change vocation, it changes your stats as well, your base stats and all that. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game a lot. I I do wish there was like a little bit more variety, but you know, that's gonna come from like the DLC and stuff. It just I wish it was here now. But the game itself is far better than the first game. Like everything else about it. But what is it What does invoking incense do? Let me look at what my class does again real quick. This draws the attention. So maybe I set him up one place and then I stand opposite of it. And then... That beckons. Press V while beckoning the simulacrum to your location. V while beckoning the mind control. Right click and uh. Uh. For Archmage doesn't take up stamina at all in normal fights. Yeah, I don't think it does. So it's just I think it's just an augment you would pick up for like another class like Warrior. his ass with a sensor. Not doing a ton of damage, but that's okay. Another vocation rank. I mean, I'll take vocation ranks any day. Especially if this class ends up being pretty fun to mix with, uh, in, with a warfare build. Not Archmage, but Magic Archer. Magic Archer. Yeah, Magic Archer... I did some different builds in the first game against like Damon, and it was pretty pretty good with like the bow and stuff. But then once I did the clean with like the it was just super, it was just super brain dead. Okay, so invoking. Okay, right click plus V. Yeah.
Oh, if I hold it, it, it stays following me. Okay, interesting. Uh, side note, the bigger enemies aren't a challenge at all. Not the Chimera, not the Minotaur, not even the Griffin. Not th the only ones that get me are the stupid dragons. Uh, yeah, I have a video of me killing one with my warrior. That was pretty fun. I'd say if you're feeling... Like, I don't know, have you done the in-game stuff yet? Like, have you beat the game? Or New Game Plus? I wonder how, I'm wondering how that stuff is, especially the in-game of New Game Plus. Cause that'll probably be like, the main... The main thing to get to. But... You know, like in Dragon's Dogma 1, getting to the end of the game, it was really all about one-shotting all the big bosses and just becoming that powerful. But Bitter Black Isle is where the challenge came in, with like the Gore Cyclops and everything. And I haven't seen any Gore Cyclops yet in this. I heard people saying they saw some. Um, I'm not sure if they are in this or how challenging they are or if that's just like in-game or what, but... Yeah, the Drakes aren't too bad for me only because as a warrior you can stay under them and every time they land you can just always charge through. Like, they still cause me problems, but, okay, so, uh, I don't miss being any other class warrior. Look how little damage I'm taking, though. Oh, my ear. Yeah, Selena, heal me. Do that. Heal me while I'm being eaten. At least that way, you know, I stay topped off. Didn't even get my guy off there. This is a very weird class. It is. This is definitely not like a beginner friendly thing. Like any new players to the game would be like, what the f am I doing here, man? Wandering around killing stuff? Nice. That's what I did. That's why I'm like level 46, but I've barely touched the main story. I'm literally heading to the Batal Gate right now. But I decided to do it on foot so that I could get some vocation levels. But I like skipped, I found a way around the gate and just explored Batal and then went to the volcanic mine and did the forge and all that stuff and I'm like, oh. I'd say we collect as much as we can Ah! Ah, okay! Yeah! My magic can view your weapon with the fury of the elements. Nice, good job, bro. Just mind control that harpy. So you just you just hold right click and press V while he's coming to you and you'll you'll, you'll put your guy onto them to to mind control. Oh you have to like aim it though. Oh he's too strong. Maybe get him like weak. If I press V, he goes away. Can you guys stop. No bully. Yo, Benager, the th you're a thief. I know how a thief plays. Come on. I know you can do. I know you can do better than that. And So you can decide if you want to like use him for mind control or use him for bait. But yeah, what are you are you still in the main region? The Cyclopses, you should at least saw an armored one. Oh yeah, I've seen many. Gore Cyclops look different. They're kind of like uh, they're kind of emaciated. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? But yeah, you, you start to get very powerful depending on like the area you're in. And and you're supposed to, you know, like go to another I don't know if you've gone to Batal or it sounds like you probably have, but it gets a little harder there. And then but I went there really early. Like I went there like in my twenties. Definitely too early. Let me go up this tower. 
I didn't see a Gore Minotaur. Naught compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become. Yeah, I think the only main boss I've done trial as is the putrid dragon, or whatever. One that had all the pustules on it. It was all nasty. Wait, uh, let me make sure I get their tails, because I can make... Yeah! I can make Newt Licker with the tails, too. Let's see, I've, this, I've already... See, look. This is what I did. I'm just now going to the Batal Gate where you're supposed to go. I did this... at an early level. It was pain. It was fun. It was fun. But it was pain. I don't like getting like super over leveled, but now I'm doing the main quest stuff, of course. Because I just lost track of it. Actually, I was like, what am I supposed to do next? And I forgot I was supposed to talk to Brant. <laughs> then I went, but I didn't have any, I didn't want to waste fast travel, so I was like, I'm not going to fast travel back there, and then I don't talk to Brant. That's not what I'm supposed to do. And then I just wasted a fairy stone. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna explore. We'll see what happens. So I went that way. Went down into the creek here. And then I went that way. I went into Batal. Would that ox guards were a bit safer. And a bit swifter, too. Well, I need any help. Um, I, so I am on Steam. I don't know if there's... I don't... I thought people were saying there's no crossplay with the pawns, but if there is, we I can totally, I'll totally use your pawn. As as long as they're not like super under leveled or anything, I'm fine. Where am I supposed to take this guy? But I, I used to use people's pawns in the first game too. That was that's always a really fun part about this game. You have my thanks. I was like, where is this guy? Tis just as well as. I asked you to come accompany me. The perils of the roads are, were far greater than I had anticipated. And I very much doubt I would have reached my destination at all had I not had I set out alone. In any case, you have my gratitude. Ah, great. But EU Belster 89 was called Suzumibachi. Suzumibachi. Is it what? Is that it? Is that what it is? I said. Fixed my I fixed my audio today too. Now I can like talk kind of quiet and it'll still pick up my voice. But I can also talk loud. And I can I can yell, I think. Well I'm supposed to be able to yell and it caps off, but it looks like it's going kinda of high right now actually, so that might be because of my Yeah, see the noise gate. I'll have to fix. I'll have to fix that. But tis but a small token of my gratitude. Hold on. Please go and teach her some stuff. Is that your name on? Steam? I don't think there's no way to like add people outside of Steam, right? Might as well take a look. Oh man, I kind of need.
These extracts would be good, but I have like here, six. Eh? Stop by again soon. Let me check out no the scrap store. To be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing uh, was enough to scratch the itch in my right case. Here. And then, never played Dragon's Dogma, but love fantasy RPG games. How complex and class building, build mixing is Dragon's. What am I to do? Uh, Dragon's Dogma two. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then so, buy something and see the truth for yourself. In the first Dragon's Dogma, you level up a class, and from like levels one to like ten or so, it's kind of like minimal. But then once you get like hybrid vocations and more vocations up to like level 100 it's detrimental like what class you play as so i played as like sorcerer up until 100 so i had a shit ton of magic levels when i switched to like mystic knight because mystic knight had a bunch of magic abilities those magic abilities were like amplified but if you had if i had leveled as just mystic knight instead of sorcerer i would have had a mix of like strength stamina and magic and been kind of neutral so i ended up having like a baller mystic knight build where i would set up this orb and I would smack the orb and projectiles flew like came out of it and would just destroy everything in front of me. That's how I that's how I built my character. But in this one, it's kind of like that, but the gear is more important. And once you get to like people from what I've read up to level 200, all of your stats even out. So as you play through the game, and it takes a long time to get to 200, like a long time. So it does kind of matter what you play, but the main thing is when you pick a class, you max the vocation out. So that you get all of the augments and those augments you can use on other classes and in this game i don't want to spoil it but there is a class that if you if you decide to play uh you can use abilities from all of the classes depending on how much you've leveled those classes up and you can like switch weapons at the drop of a dime and i think you get like two maybe three i don't know yet because i haven't unlocked it but that's what i've kind of read about it i didn't want to spoil it for myself either but I also don't want to miss anything uh, since I am a higher level now and kind of progressing, but uh, search for pawn. I thought I'd let you know how my PS5 username is and how my pawn is called. Very nice that you look at the YouTube crap now and then. No, I, I, I came from Twitch, so I'm very in tune with my chat. I know how to do chat, if nothing else. So I can rebuy the mask here if I need it. Cool. That's good to know. Many thanks to you. Thank you, sir. He doesn't have any liquor, though, and that's what I really need. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can craft the, uh, I'm pretty sure I can craft the wine that I need, so that's cool. But we're gonna go over here, but, um, yeah, I really like, I, I like the game a lot so far. The classes are all really cool. If you're big into magic, Davies, I would say this is probably going to be the best, one of the best games for Magic, because the spells are so cool. Um, if you play as like a Sorcerer, or Magic Archer has really cool stuff too, but Sorcerer has like crazy spells. Like you call meteors from the sky and summon tornadoes and pick up enemies and spin them around the world and stuff. Hold a moment. That cart has priority. But. Um, I need, Open the I need to watch this cutscene real quick. Seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Oi! This isn't yours. Do you take me for a fool? Tis a chest. I shall take a look inside. Denatia, nice. Wait, what the fuck happened? Pay for Batal and use the entry permit you received from Captain Brandt to pass through the border checkpoint. Perhaps a journey to Batal will aid us in unravel- So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. 
Restricted to beastrins. Okay, 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 chill. Alright, I need this beastrin mask anyway, so let's go change our vocation back to... Let's go unlock the augment first. And then I guess if Davies, if you want to see kind of like how that works, you can see that too. But I'm going to go change my vocation back to what I want to be playing as right now. And the vocation is marked on the map as like the double sword here. So I think it's up here. Does he do Welcome, everything? Sir. After all. It is folly to linger on a single vocation when there are so all right so weapon skills i want to unlock all of these just because when i when i get a uh, warfare i want to have them there oh wait these are the ones that stay so your core skills stay when you use warfare so that whenever you take that weapon out these things happen and then you get weapon skills, but you have to pick those. So you take up one slot automatically, and you get three more slots for different weapon skills. On the Warfarer, at least. This is what I was trying to unlock, so this is why I was playing Trickster. It alerts you to the presence of any Seekers, seekers tokens or Wakestone shards in the vicinity, with sound and blinking light. That is what I wanted. I'm not going to equip it yet, though. Because I want to I wanna change my vocation back to Mystic Spearhand. We're not going to go to the equipment menu because we'll do that after. And then we want to pick our augments. So I got detection by playing Trickster and leveling that up to vocation level 3. And I'm now going to replace... Uh, Intrepidity reduces accumulation of the loss gauge when receiving damage. Which is like, you're more likely to get stunned. You get stunned so often when you get hit if you're not like really high knockdown resistance anyway. If it's a combat to be tried. So I'm going to replace that. And I have a shield ability. Oh yeah, Seeker's Tokens. If you turn these in, you collect these. Are like, they're kind of like Korok Seeds from Zelda and stuff. But if you turn these in and you get down to like 220, you get like different items as you turn it in. So... That's always nice. Uh, but we have this stuff equipped. So we have the dash attack. Mirror vesture, what's this one again? Okay, so that's the shield. That's This is the thing that you I want to spam every so often, people were saying. But I think the higher level version lasts longer. And it literally just negates all everything. And then you just chop through everything. And since I have really high strength from doing warrior... This will doubtless be in our favor. Okay, but before I do that real quick, Welcome, sir. I need to change After my vocation all, one more time. Tis folly well, I guess technically two more times. Yeah. I want to look at do come again. my stats. So now my base is 309 to uh, 105. Oh my god. That's a huge difference. Before it was like 40. This is like a 200 point difference because I've been leveling warrior so much. So in the mid game, my physical attacks right now are very strong. This should be a welcome. Uh, at least on warrior. Let me change my vocation to Mystic Spear Hand and see what my stats are looking like now. When always a pleasure. I had 309, 104 without changing gear, and now on Mystic Spear Hand, I have 299, 185. So a little bit closer, but yeah, the vocations are what makes the difference. Like whatever class you switch to makes the biggest, and then your gear. And as a warfarer, I'm pretty sure you can wear anything. So if you really want to like experiment with like builds and classes and abilities and stuff, you pick warfarer. That's the class that offers the most customization. But you have to level all of the classes if you want to get all the different augments and all the different abilities and all that stuff. And then you have to unlock it with DCP, which you get by leveling vocations. Like, you get more, and then encounters also. Each encounter is weighed differently depending on if it's, like, a boss or not. Change back to another vocation. Pick one where you left off with that one. Yep, like I just did. But as you level with that vocation, you gain more, like, strength, stamina, magic, etc. Based on which one you've been leveling. And it starts, the, it starts, it gets, like... It's the most different up until like I think 100 
and then by level 200, which again takes a very long time to get there, that's supposed to be like. I, I think some people already have though. I don't know if they use cheats or just no life or found like a method to like get like shit tons of XP because sometimes there's exploits like that in games like this. Um. But I don't know if there is or not, but based on like the math people have shown, it's level 200 everything tapers off. All your stats are the same, no matter which class you switch to. The only difference is which augments you decide to use, which gear you have, what upgrades you've had, or you use. Okay, this is blinking? A sound? The okay, so that was the that was the. Fell the dragon at last. It was a remarkable. You hear that tinging? That is uh. Okay, and then you see these items. It's got blue on the side, and then it's got orange on the side. This is depending on where you like get it from, and then I'll I'll look at the items themselves so you can see. Because this is another way that you build a character. Um, I will say probably the hardest thing in the game so far is that shit is expensive, like. If you want to buy things and you want to get gear and you want to upgrade things, uh, even in the beginning game when you're getting like a little bit of gold, like you're going to be deciding, man, oh, ooh, I don't know if I want to spend that gold. And then you come across something else. It's like, oh, here's a house that you can buy for 20 grand. And yeah, it's 20 grand, but you never have to pay to sleep in an inn. Again, and resting in this game is really important. It's how you reset your pawn in the rift so that people see the new gear that your pawn has on. Because that's another thing that you get to build is your little pawn that people rent out. And then when they rent your pawn, you can get rift crystals, and uh, they'll give you tips. Sometimes they can give you a fairy stone, which is a teleport stone, like different things like that. Um, but, like, let's look at the different pieces. So this one has blue on it. Uh, let me actually go to equipment so I can look at it more in depth. Wait, can I look at it? How, how do I look at it here? X? No. Okay, so basically this orange thing means that I upgraded it in Batal, which is the desert town. And this blue means that I upgraded it in Vermund. And Vermund is more moderate, so it evens the stats out when you upgrade the item. And you can upgrade everything three times. And then you can upgrade it a fourth time with Worm's Life Crystals, which is... They're crystals that you get from, like, Dragons and Drakes, which were the hardest bosses so far that I fought in the game. Um, and they just give it, like, the max boost of whatever you've been doing. Or it's an overall boost but if you want more offense uh, or sorry more physical stats and damage you go to Batal if you want more even you go to Vermund and then I think the mountain is like more magic based but apparently there are also I don't want to spoil anything but there's another area with a different race that I haven't even been to yet and they literally speak a different language but yeah I, I like literally haven't even been there so that'll be cool the sovereign's so anyway makes to fell the dragon I'm going to deposit this, this, this. We're going to keep that. Boost strength. Ring of favor and protection we're keeping on. Basically the ring from Dark Souls. And then I have my dead ringer. Which was super expensive to buy. And all of my... Literally, I couldn't even buy an armor set. It was so expensive. To buy that but i also had to buy gear for my warrior so like you're you're just pumping money into like all these different classes and different gear and all kinds of stuff but who i'll try and look at your pawn next chance i get in the uh, rift i forgot this a search thing the search function i actually need to put my pawn code in if people want to look for mine i should probably put that in my title huh or my description i think that'd be cool okay now the sad thing is, this mask, you don't even see it. With this, some pieces you do. Like I have a big wolf headdress with like horns. But you, you can't see the mask with this one. You still get the stats out of it if there were stats. This one doesn't give any stats though. Because it's all gray on the right. There's no blue or red. So it doesn't take away or give anything. But I, I think some masks do. Maybe they don't. But in the first game... I missed this from the first game. They actually had clothing. So you could wear clothing underneath your armor. And if you had like an armor piece that was like just a bra or just like a like a mesh or like just like like more barbarian where it's just shoulder straps and then a leather piece or something, 
you can see the shirt underneath so you could like kind of do a little more fashion with your character but they don't have that in this one hopefully they add it in with like a dlc or something but yeah so this is my mystic spearman i really dig this cape it's got like the leather shoulder pieces on it super cool and it actually has pretty good stats on it too Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. One hopes these carts. So is this this thing is just going to annoy me, huh? Actually, is that a, is that a secret token right there? Is that it? No. There is a secret token somewhere though, because I can hear it. Now, thief is also a class. Didn't catch that. Thief is a class that gives you like wall jump and stuff. And then sorcerer, you can actually levitate. So it might be worth getting that. Hold on, let me t let me put both headphones on so I can actually hear my left and right. I have my headphones off on one ear sometimes, just so I can hear around me, be safe. Well, that's actually pretty good. So it's like right here. Oh, is it this chest? Wait, why am I stuck? This is generally used nope. material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Yeah, there's like a whole crafting system too that affects your builds. There's actually a build that lets you craft like double items. But if you like if you like crafting and you like using items to get stat boosts, that's something you could do too. Oh, it's just in here. Okay, it's got to be on the roof. How do I get up here then? There we go. Are you? You'll be all right. Thank you, Benazir. I appreciate it, man. The game decided to say fuck you. What is happening? Why can I? Also, I, I had to switch to mouse and keyboard because my controller crapped out on me. So until I get a new one, I'm mouse and keyboarding it. Oh, here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Yeah, you will. So that and then people's pawns, your pawns learn stuff whenever they play with other characters, or other people's pawns learn stuff and then they take it back, which is pretty cool. So we love that. Um, but I need to buy a Beastron mask. There's a vin Wait, there's another thing here. Wait, this this ability is actually insane. So much I missed. I didn't realize how much I missed. In front of me somewhere. Oh, it's up there, I see it. Damn. I see the light blinking too. Wait, how do I get up there? I need to play Sorcerer to get up there? Probably have to play Sorcerer. I might be able to wall jump as Thief also. Wait. I'd wager there's all to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Come on, man. You can definitely make that jump, right? Yeah. Gamer. We're gaming. We're gamers and we're gaming. I 
I'm really glad that I leveled Trickster down. I'm really glad I got that. That's awesome. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that's cool about this game. So, so now because I because I because I put the work in, and I leveled that class a little bit. I didn't want to play it, but I just I pushed I pushed through a little bit and got it. It was actually kind of cool. It was actually kind of interesting. I didn't get very deep into it, um, but now I have that augment. So now any class I play, if I want to be able to detect seeker tokens, like if I play sorcerer and I'm flying around looking for stuff, I can do that. Um, now I think the problem with the beastron mask guy is that he travels a lot. And last time I saw him, he was in Batal. So, I'm unsure how best to uh, let me go to the vendor here. Actually, let me go to the grand, the uh, the stone. Is this a grand thrift stone? It looks like it is. Search for pond. On ID. Now, I think you have to have the pawn ID, Ua, if you're still here, that is. But if you're still here and you have the pawn ID, then I can I can look for your pawn there. So these are friends of mine, and these are all their pawns. And these are their ratings. So this guy has got a level 70. It would be 14k for me to rent his pawn out. He's got 17 likes and 4 hearts. Uh, what does it say? One is that like rating like overall? The lowest level that I have is seventeen. Oh, their pawns, my pawn, no. So maybe they've played with them also. Like somebody's rented them. Um, but level seventy is crazy. This person's been playing the game because I've been playing it quite a bit. But they've also probably been playing it properly. Because I like skipped a shit ton of main quest stuff and I'm like going back and doing it right now. So like this weapon that I have right now, Dead Ringer, this thing is gonna like it's gonna this thing's gonna clap booty cheeks for a little while. Like in a good way. But yeah, I think I need to go I think I need to go to Batal to trade with the merchant there. And then I need to come back here, which is kind of pain. But we're gonna go to Vernworth, and then we'll take the ox cart to the uh, border city. How we save here. So yeah, now I need to find the merchant. He'll have a backpack on. I kind of know what his face looks like. Oh yeah, he's right here. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry. Sorry. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Y'all want to see something funny that happened earlier? Put it on my TikTok. Bye. My wife, uh, the pun I made of my wife, which she'll be, she'll be here. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, there. Okay, guys. Chill. No. Hey. What? What are you? That's my wife. Wife. What are you doing? I, I made her in the game as a pawn. Can you? Uh. <laughs> Bro. I was. 
I'm just trying to record. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to record for a video. I don't know why my wife decided that woman needed to die. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. So anyway, um, yeah, I made her. Wow, she's feisty. Feisty. Somebody said dragon's plague, throw her in the river. I'm not kidding. It's actually really dangerous if you let it fester. My wife or the pawn version? Dealer's choice, but I'd choose the pawn version. Uh, dang, didn't read this in time. That was funny. Not on your life. I'm sorry. Okay, so I saw the vendor. Okay, there he is. I've got wares of every. I need to buy a beastron mask from you, sir. And then. I want to keep those. <laughs> I need to sell this when I get back to Vermont. Pleasure doing business with you. What business have you? We're going this way now, I suppose. I thought the Beastron mask was just for like looks, like cosmetic and maybe some stats, but it actually makes me look Beastron. So I probably could have gone to the Flame Temple and not killed everybody in there. Because they all started attacking me and I got really mad, and so I killed them. We have but to follow. Not everyone, but all the guards. The roads grow perilous, and the prices of goods soar. Is there no end to our misfortunes? But oh well. Always a pleasure. This actually might this actually might be a good thing because I got trickster so early going up at all now that I'm going through like kind of backtracking. Could you come I'll be able here? to like find stuff. What do you want? Is he trying to take me to like to the quest? Can I just unselect the quest? Oh my god, that's so nice. I can unselect a quest. Because sometimes they are like, hey, come here. And I'm like, ooh, are they going to show me something? And then they just are taking me to the quest, which I don't want to do at the moment. Y'all make it up here. Let's see if I can do this. Have you taken leave of your senses, Arisen? Shit! 
No. No! I don't want you to come down. Don't do it. Yeah. Okay, come on, man. Fucking wonky ass. There we go. Alright. Baby, I need you to do this for me. If you can. Today's work. All right. Now while we're here, we need to go to Higgs and buy some liquor. I should have enough for three. I can sell a couple things if I need to. But that worked out. That worked out pretty well. If I if I do say so myself. I long for the time. I long for the times when I Alright, so I gotta like do something here. What did it say I was supposed to do? I hail the first person I see. Okay. So I just gotta help him out. I just gotta help I just gotta help the guy out. You know what I mean? Not bad. Okay. Go, bud. You there. Escort this. Welcome, welcome. In the market for new lip. Very yeah. well. Yeah. Turn at your leisure. Okay. Not buying. Welcome, welcome. In the. All right. So I need to sell. Market for new. If you have a taste for it, then I take it. Okay. That is all I need to get Warfarer now. So I can literally get the Warfarer class now. Hell yeah. And... Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Um... Rock Mouse's Burrow. Investigate the intent behind the unfinished letter. Which I'm sure is going to come up at some point. I've already seen phases since I've gotten it, so that's nice. Um. Oh, I don't have to go back to the gate. Okay, so let's just do the quests here that we're supposed to do. And I'm going to go change my headpiece and put this... Actually, I'm going to keep the Beastern Mask on me since I'm in this area. And we want to go to Rock Mouse Spura. Oh, did I mark? I need to mark it. Why? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm gonna let me, I'm gonna keep the mask on. It's not gonna hurt anything. If anything, it should help, right? So. Yeah. 
Here, if you please. Not in my house, right? No. And here I thought I was leading the way, but I suppose your whims take precedence. It is not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Exactly. We might scratch another task off our list while we're here, if we are so inclined. I can invite. I can visit Isaac now. Place. Nice. It's got to be right there. Got to be at the end of that thing. So. I can wall jump if I was a thief. By and large, the people of Bagbatal seem to adore their benevolent empress. I've remarked that myself. They revere her majesty. This game is very video gamey though. There's like the things that you do, it's like you just have to be, I don't know. It's hard to explain. You just gotta be a gamer and do gamer stuff. Is that another I'm hearing? Hold on. Dude, this augment is fucking sick, bro! Oh my god, I love this. That's so good. I'm gonna get all that gear in the in the shop now. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to look at a guide and go backtrack a bunch and like run through everything but now i can like collect stuff on the way which is so nice oh it just oh it just makes life so much easier and look at that look at that i'm almost at the next quest i hear another and then we can go to uh after we do this quest we can go to isaac so i need to get on top of that right there I can do that from here, huh? Alright, I'll do that quest in a second. I need to get these secret tokens. This is clearly designed to carry us somewhere. It could prove useful. This seems useful. It would be a shame not to employ it to our advantage. Ah, damn. I can hop off of these to get it. Well, met, sir. How's the day treating you then? Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. my ears and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness forced to contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around him. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. How terrible. 
We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Hey, hold on. What business have you here? Does that make you the arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go between twixt Her Majesty and the Guard. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to dis. <laughs> this ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Ladder. Well met, sir. How's the day treating you then? Oh, what ladder, dude? Oh, maybe I can just do this from here. Mm, definitely not. Yeah, that wasn't it either. My curative magics are at your disposal. Thank you. Wait right there. Don't fall off, you nincompoop. We just worked that hard to get it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, mission accomplished. God dang, man. God dang, man. People of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. <laughs> Her Majesty, Empress Nid, many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. Yeah. Well? I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. It is a bargain more than fair. For those who hold such permits may remain in back Batal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, they are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn heart, a simple plan I know, but is the only one available, or well, so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. Okay. Well, I do already have a house here that I bought. 
But, okay, we need to go... Do I still have... I still have my permit, don't I? Alright, so I need to I need to stop by Isaac's wares and I also need to rest. So uh, Baton Pond Guild have already been to, so we're gonna go to Isaac's Wares. We'll go to our house. So do I need to have this Beastron mask on anymore? There's a lot of cutscenes happening right now. stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the Alter Batal coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. Okay. Another quest. Well, our quest our quest log just filled right up. That's nice. Well met. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading, which brings me to a curious point. Hmm? What's an eye patch? I was gonna oh, say, like, uh, why is it an eye patch? Man? Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the Grimoire's second volume for me. It would seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for- But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. Then you ought have no- I implore you. Find that second volume for- All I want is to give my family a- I've seen the second volume, I just forget which vendor has it. A strange it. little shop in Vermont, is it? I wonder which of the shops in Vermont matches that description. Well, now, I'm not sure. It'd probably be the, the scrap shop. I would think. But we can always... We can always figure it out. Mother, quick! Over here! Man, there's, like, lots of stuff happening. Ever since I did the actual quest I was supposed to do, pardon, sir, but I, I skipped all that stuff. Stop aiding my husband. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. Oh, it's just part of the same. I can't bear to see him involved with that. But he refuses to listen to He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost it. Tis all my fault, mother. He's only been... No, tisn't, dear, and don't you fret. Your father, he'll be back to his old self before you know it. Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must. But do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Ought we to give Sir Isaac the grimoire as he requested? It is a quandary indeed. I regret to say that I am at a loss. Yeah, but do you guys know what happened in your world? That would help me. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. <sighs> I know that you. So I'm not allowed to go to my gym. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't gonna like ruin your workout. Kind of like whenever we went with Christina. Like, I didn't say anything, but then she asked questions, so. Shall we get some rest then? A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Alright, I have to have my headphones on because I'm using this, like, augment 
Just FYI. And it lets me know where stuff is, but I, I have to like be able to hear it because I can hear whether it's like to my right or my left. You know, you know what I should get over here though. There's a th like a, I can get an LED light with a remote, and then you can just press it if you need me. You know what I'm saying? Well met. It's in the freezer. The one that was in the fridge has been sitting there for days. Like, I feel like probably a week, so I tossed it. But there's, uh, I ate some of the Asian medley vegetables. There's like half of that left in there for, I was just going to heat it up tomorrow or something. Had a sandwich for lunch today. Alright, that's fine. All right, we'll come. We'll come back for this because we're going to be coming back to Batal, so we're not doing that right now. Track down the second volume of On the Transference of Souls. Well, it shows me where it is right there. Okay. Keep with Ambrosius. I've been. I've been there before. I've already bought everything from him too. Let me look at this on the map. No checkpoint rest. Yeah, okay, that's where I figured it was. I need to set up a port crystal somewhere. Well, I don't need to set up one there because I can fast travel there from Vern, Vernworth. I think we're gonna do this one first. What did I do to No one's coming to assail us. I have, we've scared That's the dodge. I can get extra damage. A brief respite as naught to decry. Little off range. Oh, you actually fly with that. Okay. Then... That lasts a decent amount. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. I've explored this area already, so I can kind of just run through. If anything attacks me, I'll we've find no it, cause to visit a campsite as yet. Me, I'm not going to go out of my way to fight. Let anything. us return once we've grown tired from our labors. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Let my magic grant you an elemental being. I hit spacebar once I hit them. Alright. Be better to test out on and true, and our quarry shall fall. enemies that aren't flying. Oh, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. All well, I trust. Rufus. Is not Ambrosius. Do 
you let me know if you are in need of aid. Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. What is it? No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. I'm gonna try this. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not hard to pull off either. You'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend to. Which one of these guys is Ambrosius? Who can be found on Ulta Batal Coast? Oh, he's just he's somewhere in here. It's not the old guy, right? Okay, so can I do both of these at the same time? Cool stuff Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. No doubt, this triumph will spur us into the next. The bees by the campfire. Ready the shield. Okay. If I still get stunned, I just don't take damage. a lot to keep up with. I kind of, I really like it though. It's actually really cool.
I thought I could just hold it and it would do it. Tap repeatedly. Oh. Okay, well that's what I was doing. That makes sense. I bet it smells really good over there, like salt water. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, master? Hey babe, did you watch that TikTok I sent you yet? Maybe? She's in the bathroom, I think. <sighs> Might you be looking to it? Might I be looking for Ambrosius? Oh. Oh. Close one. Can I get over there? Bob. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my there. pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Maybe it is this guy, but I thought this guy was like the dragon something. We'll go in here and talk to him real quick though, just to make sure. Since time to remember, draconic blood flows through. Veins of lead. Then I bid ye farewell. That's not that guy. Should your pack grow over full, have no fear. <sighs> nice. Perfect. Not a drop of spill. So, hey, what happened at work? Babe? You don't have to like, give me like details, crazy details right now, I'm just curious.
Well, did y'all actually almost fire somebody or were they just being really dumb? Oh, wow, they got a write up. Oh, is it the same person? Wow. Has as that has somebody transferred to pin them? Oh, is this the fist fighter? Uh. Oh. Let's see. I had some really nice people in chat earlier. They were like coming in and talking to me about the game and asking questions and stuff. And they actually, you know, what's funny is they said, "You actually look at the YouTube stuff," and I'm like, "Well, I came from Twitch, so like." <laughs> It's like what we do over there. Uh, in the middle of streaming? Uh, give me just one second. I'm going to do something for my wife real quick.
Uh, one second, I'm going to show my wife something.
was using it to try and just record like voiceover stuff. Then I just put it into the video editor and then just compress it. So it works out really well. But. In the drawer. It might need to be, I don't know if it needs to be cleaned or not. I just stuck it in there when I was wiping the counters down. Is it? There's a roach. Okay, I cannot touch my mic at all. I'm so sorry for that. Well, I'm glad I have the noise, uh, the noise thing in there. So if it gets too loud, it like cuts that out. It's supposed to be a yell, keeps it down. So that's yeah. I might change the gate just a little bit though. But that's good. I can't just randomly yell either. Sorry, babe. I got like a setting on now where if I whisper, if I whisper like this, you can hear me. You, you can, if I whisper, you can hear me on the stream. And if I yell, there's a fail safe so that if it gets too loud, it doesn't destroy people's ears. Does that make sense? Babe? Are you good? Are you listening to something or talking to somebody? Okay, I set my microphone. I set a bunch of filters, like six or seven filters from that tutorial I went through. And it sounds, A, it sounds really good now. But when I whisper or if I talk oh, I really quiet through the mic, you can out. hear me just the Might same we have a rest because of how the uh, program works. And then if I get too loud, there's a fail safe so it doesn't destroy people's ears. So it keeps me in the yellow. So you know how before you were like, hey, I can't really hear you. Hey, turn your mic up. Hey, this and that. I didn't have the right filters on, apparently. So I put on a bunch of really good filters, and I set the mic in a good position. And I'm talking at it from this angle now. But I also have a noise gate, so it doesn't pick up a bunch of background noise. Okay. Hello. Uh, I'm just... Sharon. Sorry. All right, let's see. So apparently, oh, I'm sorry. No idle chat. Okay, so apparently, he might be dead. I I need to go check the charnel house and revive him, if so. But he could also be at the lab. 
I this did, seems a decent spot for a campsite. I did kill a bunch of people. Better to rest while we're here than lament our weariness later. Not on purpose. Well, yeah, it was on purpose, but they took Hang twenty thousand gold from me. So. I'm coming to assist. Thank you. I said thank you. No, I said thank you. This place offers a view of the sea. I'm staying in here. I imagine we would not escape London to the water's Tell depths. Me. Give me the boost. All right, going up hill uses extra stamina too. Dude, where's Liquid Vim? Did we not get that until like Dark Arisen? I don't know. I thought we had it before that, but... Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplication. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Are they gonna be cool with me? Nope. So I'm gonna go check the Charnel house and see if their body's in the morgue.
Surely it's the one that has the coffin logo. Surely. Good they give you like a free True faith must come from the spirit. Not the money. Oh man. Do I have to check each one? Well, I I don't How do I know which one is Ambrosius? It looks kind of creepy. Uh, that's got to be him. Yes, yes, very fine. Sorry right, for killing you, bro. <laughs> Should still show. Fine ways indeed. The day grows darker with our every step. Be it's pricked. It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. Not that dark yet. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. 
The bigger they are, is that all? Still, I expect I'll find a useful... Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which tis made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns, that is. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. It is possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. Seek information about larger ones. Oh. Ah. Slam. <clears throat> is there? Is there? Since times of El, remember. Draconic, so long as ye retain your will, you'll fuck God's way. Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batal came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. Then go. Since times of eld, remember. Draconic blood flows through the veins of... Then I bid ye farewell. Hey. Babe, you know how in Darkest Dungeon, like, when you when a character dies, the game just autosaves. Like, you cannot control it. Or anything like that's a really cool feature because it like actually gives weight to what you're doing you know there's an arrow that i bought from this guy with eight worms life crystals <laughs> which you get from typically from fighting drakes and stuff even if you don't kill them you can get shards off of them it's called an arrow of unmaking you know what it does if you shoot it from a bow it kills any enemy but it's the only one in the game when you fire it, when you loose it from your bow, the game autosaves. So if you miss, that's it. You, you gotta fight that enemy straight up. But if you hit them, they die. Any enemy. One shot. Really cool, right? And it saves. So, I, I, like, you know, as long as it doesn't, like, glitch whenever it saves, I'm sure, I, which I don't, I haven't heard being a problem, so. I'm sure it's fine. But it saves when you loose it. But even if you reload, it's you loosing the arrow where it saves. Which actually, I could see that kind of breaking your game though. If it auto saves and you're about to get crushed by something and die. But you can always return to last in, rest it at. It's just you could lose like hours and hours of progress if you do that. No purchases to be made today, I see. Because you don't rest at an in very often in this understand. game. A lot of the rests are the like is ever prudent at the camps. Application of coin. Okay. Visit Flame Bearer Palace in the morning. Ask the Oracle or the Dragon Forge for advice on where to look for large blue crystal shards. I gotta ask the Oracle in Batal now at the temple. Or is that. that there was a spirit I talked to that was like, this is the last time we'll talk, and they gave me, tri gave me the trickster path. I wonder if this is like the Sphinx or something. I haven't seen the Sphinx yet in this game. Uh, but visit Flame Barrier Palace in the morning. Let's do this. And we'll just rest. We'll rest until morning if we need to. I like that the game also gives you dots, like your little breadcrumb, so you can see where you came from. You don't have to look at your map and be like, okay, where, 
where do I need to go back to? You, you just know if it's in the opposite direction where you came from, that's where you go. I like that. It's pretty dark in here, huh? And lit. How's that? Thank you. I have a bunch of oil in my stash I need to take out too, it looks like. Is that baby crying? Is that baby crying on me? Hold fast, that... Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. I gave her some good pets this morning. I played. <laughs> like you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't do him one. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Well, you don't have to gather anything, Benager. I'll gather it all. I think my other pawns will. Uh, house? I don't remember where my house is from here. Okay. So, as soon as I get in from the oracle to the north, I just head west.
A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. Ready to forge on? seem like a learned individual surely you have an interest in the mighty sphinx depicted on yonder wall tis a beast of fearsome intellect whose riddles have confounded some of the greatest sages in history indeed tis said that answering its questions is but a portion of the puzzle should the day come that you seek to challenge the sphinx yourself you would do well to look to this mural for wisdom Stab it with a spear and a shield. An eagle head. It would seem we need not always travel by foot, if novel inventions such as this are to be found. I dare say there'd be no harm in using this. A surprise a splendid discovery interesting I shall have to inform my own master of this I'm just going to take the damage. Ease, man. I was hoping I could just slide down, but... Alright, Flamebearer Palace. Cart ought to make our journey easier. Hopefully, it can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Hopefully, it's not too late in the morning because I rested until morning, but then I got that's I got distracted by that secret token. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Empress Nadine. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. You must ensure Her Majesty is not harmed during her supper. The gods sway. Tell us of world events or our city's true face. We presume that. Be gone from our midst. If tis magic, tell us of world events. <coughs> the gods swear. You have no right. I put it away. I put it away immediately. What do you mean? Okay, they're all here, so there's gotta be something going on. 
and lend your aid to Sir Manila. Manila. Did I come too late? I don't see Manila. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hand. Sir, how you ought to learn when they come too late. If it is magical knowledge you seek, talk to me about word phases. Let's go try and rest one more time. Or we'll come straight here. Not get distracted doing hunting for seekers tokens. I came from a different area. But from Flame Bear, it's west and then north. But from the Dragon Carcass or whatever his name is, it's just straight west. The shell of the dragon, shell of the arisen. We must rest. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. I hear something say Come, Intercourse, Pennsylvania. I hope you slept well. That is... Yeah, so I'm gonna be like, where are you from? Oh, Intercourse. Well, yeah, I am too, but that's kind of inappropriate, don't you think? <laughs> hey! That's what that's what happens when I'm hydrated and healthy. I had vegetables today. <laughs> we pawns mm. not set. For we cannot accompany you there, master, but fear not. You'll find us here when you return. Empress Nadinia's life is in your Okay, so same thing. So what do I what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to aid? The God's way. Um, okay, Shadowed Prayers. It, dude, I swear, if she's, like, missing, maybe she's missing a servant or something because I killed them. They only, Polygon only updated this eight hours ago. I would have been already totally done with this if I didn't get sidetracked by everything else. And I'm almost level 50 now. Um... But whatever, we'll we'll speed run through this. It's just the stuff that's not working because of me killing things, I think. Oh. Okay. I don't want to spoil it for myself. Okay, so I have to find an assassin. Hear this. Last week, I passed along the altar patrol, and what did I find but the most gorgeous sh Then, as I boasted of, I threw out a price. Seems the shards are treasures. Might look easy. What say you? Ah, hey. oh, getting a new die right. Off with you. What do you want with me, eh? Rant, Lazar. I'm in no mood for talk. In my line of business, patience is key. Okay. He's he's gotta wait for his opportunity, right? 
I just take him here? Empress Nadinia's life is in your What am I supposed to do? Okay. My line of work patience is key. Okay. You seem well. I am well. My, you are persistent. Peril can result from a movement and caution. Okay, maybe maybe I can just stand here. While she does her thing. I think I have to wait for an assassin. It's like she has, she has, we're her, like. Oh, wait. Is she missing somebody? Okay, this is big. This is big. She might she might be missing somebody. We're gonna go to the charnel house. I'm gonna see if uh, one of those ladies with the white robes is, I have been is waiting in there. For you, Now hopefully she doesn't get assassinated while I'm doing this, but I'm pretty sure we need this. My house would be up here, but we're going to the charnel hall. Watch me be done with Batal like really soon. Now that I'm like actually memorizing where everything is. It's just like if I if I didn't have a map, I would learn. But it's so easy to just look at everything on a map for me. Like with cardinal directions. I know for some people that's not ideal. Oh, so there's only coffins where dead people are. Okay. And do they have a saved spot? Doesn't look like there's any back here. Oh, but they don't have clothes on, so how do I know? Do they have their headdresses and stuff there, or are they just Mickey? Oh man, I think I might just have to pick the one that I think looks closest. It should be a female cat, or a female beastron. I get these already. Oh my, it could be that one too. Man, this is busted. Wait. A bra. Am I gonna have to use all my wake stones on this? That's four now. It's four female beastrin. Okay, before I do this, let me just make sure. This quest is called Shadowed Prayers. I'm going to do Reddit first. Bug and fix. If you buy or have bought the house in Batal and rest in the morning, it gets the quest into a weird state. You'll go to the palace and no one will be at the quest marker. Okay, so I don't, I don't, am I going to waste a wake stone? It looks like I can't use the house to rest at an inn. Uh, so hopefully, I'm going to definitely upload this clip, but hopefully this helps somebody else out. So we're going to rest at an inn. 
Uh, we're going to rest this one because I think this one is like 2,000. It's a lot cheaper. Off with you. The world's changing. Not sure how much. You shan't hear me complain about an. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? My god, why am I. I don't know where I am. I've never rested here. Okay. Uh, opposite? No, no, the wrong way. Well, uh, there's literally a quest mark on the map, David. What are you doing? Okay, now, uh, hopefully I'm not just out 2,000 gold. Or 4,000 if I have to do it again. And a wake stone. Or multiple wake stones if I have to figure out which one is one of her priestesses. That's what happens when you just willy-nilly kill people. Have no fear, and a vengeance master. for them taking your gold. Right without you for a little while. It is not our place to hurry the arisen. Empress Nadinia's life is in your. Okay, so wait, now there's only two of them. There were three. Man, this is annoying. This is like the first quest that's been annoying like this for me. Shadowed prayers, dragons, dark suit. Right. YouTube. I'm I'm live on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Do you know how to get there? Or are you subscribed to me? Oh, that's your full ass name there. Nice. Well, not technically, actually. Yeah, you might want to change your account. Uh, let's see. I have two accounts. I have like my one I have for like music and stuff and like D&D playlists and then I have my official that I swap over to for like commenting and all that. Or you can just change your name. Okay, so No way, dude. This guy's not here. Is he? I'm in no mood for talk. Off with you. Am I gonna dude, am I going to have to revive the guy? Am I going to have to revive I'm gonna have to revive and it they got, dude they gotta fix this game, dude. They got they gotta fix it. I, have to, I think I have to revive an assassin. Yo, what's that meme? I think I have to revive an assassin. This is a main quest, by the way. That if you do not figure it out, and you do not know what reviving is, and you do not have a wake stone, you cannot progress. I think. I think that's what's going on. Because I just had to look it up to see what the guy looks like, because... I've had something similar happen already once, and I had to go revive the guy. Somebody else said the same thing. And apparently they can also be killed off screen without you ever knowing that they're being killed. Which is pretty much... That's, I mean, when people say dragon's dog shit, that's what they mean. Um, 
Why does this game have to be so good? And then have things like this. Like it's just so fucking annoying. So this, so he has brown short hair, kind of a fucked up nose. Let me show him. Maybe you guys can help me find him. This is him right here. Oh shit! Wait. Oops. Uh, display. All right, so I mean that could be him, maybe. No. 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 Where's? Uh, they have like all the men on the same. Hold on. Screenshots. I can't see if I can't see if that guy has a ponytail or not. That's a problem. Hmm. I have brown hair. Buzz on the side. I think he has brown hair and buzz on the side. If I could see their name, it would be helpful. This is like a freaking quest in and of its own, dude. Goddamn puzzle quest. Might, I think it might be this guy. I'm definitely not that guy, so... We know it's not a Bistrin. That's easy enough. Gotta be that guy. Right, these are all cat people. I remember checking it. Much obliged. Well, it was not him. It looked like him, but it was not him. And we used a wake stone, which is fine. I mean, is it that guy? Hold on.
Let's see. Uh, I could try the in again, but then I'm just like, oh my god, dude. Yeah, shadowed prayers is bullshit. Somebody else said it. Only the Arisen can use... Okay, Hello, Arisen. See. This is the quest guide for Shadow Prescribed to me. If you visit her in the morning... If you get the quest thing, I came in the morning and nothing was happening. I was really confusing. Anyways, so I came back in the morning, and now you're supposed to pick out which one of these guys are the assassin. Now, if you're listening to what the, they're saying to you, they'll say that the assassin's arm is hurt. So you want to actually look for this guy here who has some scar. It is this guy. His hair looks fucking brown. It's gotta be this guy. More thanks. It's 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 not this guy. I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. I mean, is hurt. So you want to actually look for this guy here who has some scars on his arm. His name. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so it's this guy here named Herman. He's also a bit of a prick. So just grab him with the right trigger. And there you go. He's the assassin. And that's. Yeah, except. Maybe that guy? Maybe that guy. I'd have to use both. I'd have to use up all the rest of my wake stones. These are cat people. I'm pretty sure these are too. Let's just make sure. And this is a cat guy. Yeah. Sorry, Beastron. Beastron. There's nothing over here, right? Who has some scars on say that the assassin's arm is hurt. So you want to actually look for this guy here. Who yeah, he doesn't have braids like this, though. Or corner rolls. Corner rolls. I, need not strive to know the <sighs> I don't know, man. Like, do I just need to wait a long time? Can I just kill her myself? Jeez, man. I'll just kill her and then revive her. You know what I mean? Empress Nadinia's life. Yeah, the guy's not even here. Wait, where is he from? Okay. Not to get the floors mopped. Very soon. Hope today's halls are plentiful. Oh, I've got 
to make room for my next shipment. I wonder if I need to use the Bistrin border entry permit as well, and that if that's like locking me behind stuff and you can't have certain items in your inventory. If so, like Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. You must ensure her Majesty. And the guy's just not here. This is crazy, dude. Talk to Hugo, talk to his cellmate. Shadow Prayer's quest has to be completed first. Oh, this is Pilfered Path, never mind. about ready to fall asleep on my feet. Surely I'm overdue a day off. Ready to fall asleep on my feet. I've been here so long, I almost forgot I might my game. Look, but only for next year. 
My back's so stiff from rigidity. We shall await you here, Master. Empress Nadinia's life. She's not even here anymore. Oh, she is. But there's like, there's no assassin. So. I guess I'm just gonna chill here. And hopefully it just completes after the day ends. Let me take a screenshot. How can I get this color to come out brighter? This isn't easy they keeping the pantry about. stocked these days. Someone will buy all. Oh, today's halls are plentiful. my next shipment. I I'm so confused, dude. This is the first quest that's confused me like this. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. You must. This isn't easy keeping the pantry stocked these days. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just asked the Discord to see if they had any ideas, but as of right now, I am at a freaking loss, did. Did. How am I getting, like, Can I add location to TikToks after posting them? I get an option to, but I can't like go anywhere in the edits to do so. It has to like prompt me in order to do it. That's so scuffed. Ta-da. 
windows. Oh yeah, I forgot you can set wallpapers with TikTok. Fucking scuffed, man. Everybody's left. Empress Nadinia's life. Empress Nadinia's life is. All right. Um. We're gonna go rest one more time. It is good to be reunited. I'm gonna rest till morning one more time since I just revived those people, even though they were not him. Maybe they're tied to him or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, not actually. I mean, I think the house isn't gonna matter. If I rest in the house or not, that's not going to be an issue. I mean, it could be, but I've already rested at the end once and the guy still wasn't there. And that guy almost kind of looks like him, but if he is dead, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the city we must rest. that they die in, the sun is still they go to the Hall of, and it's not the um, city where they're actually from, you know? To start the day off? Come. We've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Um, I don't know if I can't figure it out here. What are the other charnel halls? There's like Ver Vernworth. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Yeah, he's just not here, man. He is just not here. Empress Nadinia's life is in you. In the jail? Oh, man. Get, I can actually go through here to get to the jail, so I don't need to do that. Go to the charnel hall again. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. I just don't. I don't think that I would have killed him. In the uh, in the laboratory place, you know. Unless this is him. I could end up using like all my wake stones here, which would be a real pain in the ass. It's another guard. Yeah, he can't he's not here. I'm in your debt. God. 
Yeah, you are in my debt. Because I'm down another wake stone. Four, I mean, thank God I have the new detection augment so I can find more shards. And I really don't die much, but like, man, that is such a fucking bummer. This is like the first time that I've been like truly upset playing this. It could be that guy, but he's he's the last one. He's the only one that it could be. But it just it does not look like the guy has freaking corn rolls. I mean, sh or corn rolls. Shit, could it be this guy? I don't know. Shut up, ads. Bandit Bill of Arrest clues. Talk to Mandela. Let's say that someone attempted. He's got a toga too. This is so fucking dumb, man. Like, why? Why is the why is this quest designed like this? It's so bad. This is like the worst quest design I've ever fucking seen in the game. I like absolute dog shit. This is a main quest too. I'm pretty sure. And I actually don't I, I don't know which one of these is like main quest right now. It's not this one. It's not this one. It's probably this. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try going to Vernworth. And then traveling to the. We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Border city or whatever. I'm not doing this right now. I hear it. It is tempting me. Oh, I need to go west. Have you heard tell of an ox cart traveling the roads? Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter. There's been much talk on the street of this. Can you fuck off? The travels after sunset. But I've heard rather enough. Oh, I didn't realize there was like a quest thing going on. That was not clear at all. This ox cart's back. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Hey. Hail. Hmm. Please don't be attacked. Please.
You seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Oh, I can use any Go of those on now. Through. Oh, interesting. I haven't been over here. Okay, that was an achievement, too, so. Now, let's see if he's here. Say, did you hear? There's been another. Dunno. But I'd wager it's the work of bandits. Sir Lissandro's been iron hands in a bit of flush. Well, if they're not caught soon, we'll be seeing shortages. Mark my words. You erred of the coral snakes. There's no lack of brigands looking to make some easy coin out on the roads, but what's scary about these coral snakes is how damn organized they are. Talk is, they fall upon you all at once, and they're gone just as quick. Along with all I thought only fools turned to banditry. Why not live honestly if they've the brains for it? At any rate, if you've a mind to catch them and make a name for yourself, you ought to speak to Sir Lissandro. An unsettled mind begets an unsettled world. That dude looks fucking weird. This dude looks like a... What? He looks like what's his name from uh, Game of Thrones. A happy man. Bran? As a matter of fact... No, not Bran. Bran. The pain I experienced at the coronation. Many of our citizens view pawns as bringers of calamity, yet so boundless is... It was she who decreed that... Oh, how magnanimous. Dang, well that's met, crazy. Sir. Need a room for the night? I have to withdraw. I don't have I have no wakestone stuff in here, right? Many thanks. Interested in my wares? Yeah, no responses yet. Uh. I'm starving, I am. Food? Have you any food? Many thanks. I'm still very hungry. Spare some charity for the poor. I did you too. Ah, you there. What do you think? You, you keep your hands off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you. Uh, calm down, Hugh. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health and my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cousin. Yeah, that's right, Timothy Chalamet. In, in my defense, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these parts. The name's Hugo, by the way. I'm a ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. So pay me no mind. And I'm sorry. Many, many thanks, sir. Lucky I am to have the two of you looking out for me. Many. All right, I guess I'm gonna just travel along this for a little while. Do what I missed, and then I'm, yep, there we go.
Of course, I'm playing the game in like the weirdest a fucking way in order. A splendid discovery. That's Interesting. On brand for me. I shall have to inform my own master of this. That way for me. Well, now this is a nice. Oh, surprise. Baron! I've been needing to find him. Oh, Ark of Might! I can get Ark of Might now. If you're in trouble, I'll find Hi, you've a bit of a. This is for you. Ah, you're welcome to. Ah, you're welcome to stay a while. Is this if your pack grows over full, simply ask me to sell up. Dude, get the fuck out of my face. Got to kill you. I invited myself along. I remember that kid. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Ah, you're welcome to stay a while. Maybe he gives it to me later? I don't know. It's cool he's got little moon glows out here, though. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. Climb anything over here? Ah. An escort quest here. What is this? Well, mate. Listen, I need a favor. And I'd ask you if you were lying. My humblest thanks. Alright. I was going that way anyway. Escort the client. Why doesn't it say, why doesn't it say, like, Escort Baron, like we know this guy? Treat him like he's some rando. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. You 
Oh shit! I hit. I, I, I was spamming E. Not yet up here. I hear a ding. I think it's below me. Where are you? Dude, I have enough fucking bullshit going on with the Shadow Prayers quest, like, come on, man. I couldn't catch on to him there, like of all the other times. Fucking bullshit. Fuck sucker. I can't afford to use any more wake stones either. I already had to waste it once. But at least I know I am up to the top. You must not go down on that. Just 
yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I'm gonna guess that that's super this low, and I can get it when I get down there. Could not shake. And this is the result. Brought by no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm as they say. I grant you roaring flame. If your pack grows over full, Simply ask me to sell off your surplus. Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a nice. glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. This would make a fine place for observing the lay of the land. The scenery of Batal is wondrous to behold. surprise a splendid discovery interesting I shall have to inform my own master of this master I found a campsite near here while I was journeying beyond the rift shall I take us there now That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Let me grab a uh, Beren. So are these brown, I guess the brown chests reset. Now perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different horns. One whom I serve would prefer to have Beastrum for allies. Fascinating. Nicely done. Make me more where that came from. Plenty. Bro just got raffle stomped there. Yeah, Ali. I've got wares of every ilk.
Pleasure doing business with you. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scrap. Speak with enemies in our midst. I shall not fail. I tried to do. I tried to hit the fucking thing, but I was stuck in my animation. He's doing shoulder bump. That's a really long animation. Let us see what you're made of. One of us has been drenched. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. We are at our best when we combine our strength. Fortunes are looking up. All the more so if we sell this newfound prize. Yeah. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide. I mean, why wouldn't I sell Onyx, you know?
would that such tranquility could last? Right you are. <clears throat> little against this foe. I didn't get my oh, I didn't get my quest done for Beren because I guess I went the wrong way. Material, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Even though it never told me. Hard one. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could use it like a helm splitter, get high. Let my magic grant you an elemental. Oh shit. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Flying down the cliffside and can't do anything.
It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? What the fuck is this thing? This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Is this in a cave or like below me? Did I just loot this? Or did I loot this earlier? That other one's got to be underneath over there. Band of knackers. Ice is our ally against such fiends. Is that what they're called? Instead of goblins? Loath as I am to recall the events of the coronation, they are fresh in my mind still. How might the technique used to control us be dispelled?
Uh, traveling beyond the rift, I came upon a cave whose secrets you have yet to discover. Uh, just nearby, I lead the way. My own ability charging up just scared me. Oh, zombie beef. Found the Wakestone Shard. Excellent. I could have done no better. Oh shit. Must be because I got the shard. enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. How the fuck do they do that much damage, dude? God dang. I'm not wasting a wake stone that I just got on a zombie. I would rather... I would rather eat boogers. This guy gonna explode at all? When you die, you have no health. Us, man. I go on to roaring flame. So much HP that guy killed me through too. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige.
Holy f shit, I'm taking a lot of damage. No harm shall come to me as you flip the lizard over onto me. Like Many immediately plans. causing me harm. This is for you. You're welcome, Mr. Bloom. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. I nobody asked. Literally who asked. This is generally okay. used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. <laughs> Babe? I'm gonna grab a snack and see what that is.
Okay. Already did. Let's see what we got here. I have my dinner. I'm gonna try and. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Slam the fart. Man, I hope this thing comes back. I hope so much this comes back. Hey, music friends. This is Davi Vasque. I'm a music composer for games and. Everybody is hyped for Dragon's Dogma 2 and I was thinking Dragon's Dogma 1 released like over 10 years ago, right? So I was thinking do, do people still remember how Insane the Dragon's Dogma 1 soundtrack actually was so today we're gonna do a little Retrospective on the soundtrack of Dragon Do Dragon's Dogma 1 go through some of the tracks and remember how amazing the soundtrack was Let's go Okay, so this is this is the opening movie. Remember the opening movie? My game have Where French the dragons game. like falling from the sky. <laughs> and already you can tell. Already you can tell this was. Composed by a Monster Hunter composer. Oh, this is a hint of the main theme of Dragon's Dogma, which is amazing, by the way. The Criers, man. The scale of this soundtrack is so... main theme and this is such a good main theme man. so yeah this is just a brief opening movie right by far my favorite part of the dragon's dogma soundtrack is this main theme this is an abbreviated version of it but you can tell and and you're gonna see this happening a lot uh anytime the the main theme appears anywhere this here happens look at this most replayed people just love this main theme because it's, it's such a great melody and like i said uh this soundtrack a lot of people don't know that it was composed by one of the monster hunter composers uh which is Tadayoshi Makino. He worked on Monster Hunter World. He worked on Monster Hunter Try. He's a fantastic composer. And the other composer was, what's, what's his name? I think it's Rei Re Kondo, uh, which, which is a, a, a Devil May Cry guy, an Okami guy in Capcom. Just, just very good Capcom guys worked on this soundtrack. But let's take a look at the <laughs> at the main theme again. Check out these chords, man. They're so hype. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's so hype. And for a song that is in a in a sad key, you know, a minor key, there's so many happy chords in this in in this harmony. That's why it sounds so hype. And some of these happy chords, they're not even supposed to be here. Like this one, for example. This one, it, it's, it doesn't even belong in this key. So Tadayoshi Makino, the, the composer, he's going, he's going out of his way to make this soundtrack sound more, po more positive, more hype, more exciting, heroic. Okay, moving on, what else we got? We got uh, the main title, right? I remember this one. This one, yeah, vocals, right? Man, this is so nostalgic now, like 10 years later. This was weird. And again... Dark Arisen. Not like the original had music. Na, na, na. This part is very interesting. Little piano. I think I remember a fragment of the main theme in this as well. Or maybe I'm... Oh, maybe not. But this has a pedal bass. Oh yeah, this part. Do you, do, do you know what a pedal bass is? It's just a bass note that, that just keeps ringing and sustaining throughout the entire song. It's just this. The bass just does this. It never changes. So there's a sensation of stillness, of kind of apathy and melancholy. Oh, the character creation. I remember this one had guitars, right? Or something like that. I remember that. And this is one of the, I feel like most unique aspects of Dragon's Dogma soundtrack. It mixes up some stuff that- Yeah, some percussion in there. I like that. <clears throat> I just had to eat real quick. Do we have chocolate cake? So what are you asking? Where is their chocolate cake? Excuse me. Got the burps now. Different creations. I have a quest over here I need to do anyway, so. There is chocolate cake. It. it might be done soon. If you really want me to pick you up some chocolate cake, I can do that. I don't think we need a DoorDash again. I knew you. You seek answers, and you shall have them. If loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak. I sense a land soaked in warmth. A warmth akin to your own arisen. To that of yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hand. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. It would seem a path will be open to you in time. Allowing you to venture into the heart of this war. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. A 
Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Each to their own. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. Can I do this? I was about to go flying off right there. Let me check the back side. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. <sighs> that was a ladder. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. I need to rest at that campfire after this. Certainly arisen. How might I be obeyed? <coughs> Alright, we'll fall off here. In the most unlikely places, aren't they? Yeah. A splendid should, discovery. I feel like it should be like I shall have to for items and stuff. Place. You shouldn't have to be standing on top of it to pick it up. I, in my opinion, feels kind of ninja guy Denny that way. No sense letting the enemy go. You ass was coming. Early Griffiths gets the worm, as they say. Fucking damn it, man. Oh, shit. Sorry, babe. Did you not hear me? I said I would rather go pick up something because I'm I might just stop my stream soon rather than door dashing again. You didn't respond though. That I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know where you're at or like anything. I n I just don't know where to go to get chocolate cake. 
Other than target. For target? Hey, where? You said there's target, and then I asked at target pickup, and you said no. I, I don't want to be driving to, like, Cheesecake Factory or something. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. It's what? Well, that's that's even further. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like that far, but. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. That's pretty far. That's even further than 7-Eleven. Also pretty far. That's same as PF Chang's. No. Yeah. No, I just ate and I had Celsius today. Um, I should be drinking water. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? All right, guys. I just camped, rested. I'm gonna save there. I might be back later this evening, but I am pretty tired, so. I just be back tomorrow. I was up at a good time this morning because I was going to bed at a good time, so you know how that be. It was fun. We had some chatters come in and stuff. I don't have chat showing up on the screen. But I might get up for next time. But it's been nice like making thumbnails and uploading stuff, but I need to figure out I wanna try and upload a couple things or have a couple things ready to upload, because Friday, I'm, I'm gone most of the day. Sad. But, um, yeah, I'll work on that tomorrow and see what I'm gonna, see what I'm gonna do. Later. I'll have a good one. And if you're watching the VOD, 